Is Halo capable of doing more than your standard modes we've been experiencing for the last 20 years? Personally, I think so, because the sandbox and the gameplay elements of Halo Infinite are honestly fantastic. There wouldn't be this dedicated fan base of people still playing Halo Infinite to this day if the fundamentals and gameplay were not as good as they are. But we've seen with each update that the game has received that we see a nice little spike in population, but then it quickly drops back down to pretty much where, where it was you know, about a week or two later. And why do we see these drastic drops in population after each update, even though they genuinely do improve the gameplay experience, people don't tend to stick around a whole lot with Halo Infinite. And the reason for this, I believe, is due to the game just feeling pretty much like a standard Halo experience. And what I mean by that is that we're pretty much playing all the same game modes that we've been playing in Halo for the past 20 years more or less. If you're watching this video, most likely you've put hundreds if not thousands of hours into playing just Team Slayer alone. Even with the launch of Halo Infinite, we pretty much got like a brand new game mode in a way, being Big Team Battle as it hadn't launched with Halo since Halo 4. But even then, it was pretty much just bigger team battle. It wasn't really like a new take on the experience. It's big team battle. The same game mode that we had back in CE, the game mode that we first played online back in Halo 2 and later on. After Halo 3, we seem to get like a new cool mode or experience to have within Halo that we're not really getting with Halo Infinite. For example, with Halo Reach, they brought in the Invasion game mode with a totally new experience set aside from all other kind of experiences that we've ever had in Halo. It's a really awesome mode and part true like Elites versus Spartans was a dynamic we'd never really had before in Halo. And I absolutely love that game mode. Later on with Halo 4, we had Spartan Ops, which seemed to be kind of like, almost like their attempt almost at doing like live service before live service was really a thing, but by continuing the story or having an extra story content with Halo, which we never really had like DLC content before when it comes to storytelling. And honestly, the story with Spartan Ops was fantastic. The gameplay, not so much. And the cool new experience with Halo 5, obviously, was Warzone, which people genuinely did really enjoy. It felt like it was a true evolution of the big team battle mode. It didn't seem like it was just bigger team battle, kind of like what we got with Halo Infinite. And throughout my years of covering Halo 5, I definitely saw Warzone being the top five most played modes within that game, if not being top three. So you can see what I'm talking about with Halo Infinite, that with their a big game mode being big team battle, which is a core game mode that we've had since forever. It wasn't really that exciting to bring people back in to play the game. Don't get me wrong though, Halo Infinite definitely evolved the big team battle mode a bit more with some different kind of mechanics in there. It's definitely my most played mode after ranked infinite, but when playing it, it just, like I said, just kind of feels like big team battle. Nothing too crazy there, which I think leads us to the root cause I think of Halo Infinite. It's more than just the microtransactions, more than just the progression, more than just like the latency ping fluctuation issues. I just think that the game can get boring pretty easy if you played Halo before because this game doesn't really do anything drastically different than we've ever really had in a Halo game. It felt like it was 343's for true attempt to make just like a good solid Halo game, which they did mechanically gameplay wise, but all the supporting elements around it are just not quite there. I mean, the campaign is fantastic. We just got Forge, which has been playing out pretty well with some issues there. We got the custom game browser just came in, which obviously has been playing out all right. It's only having its own issues, but for the most part, it's been working well enough for people are jumping in, playing, and having a good time. But then again, Forge is a mechanic within Halo that's been around since Halo 3 that we kind of expect to be in a Halo game. Even if Halo Infinite's Forge is a true evolution of the game mode that really steps it beyond anything we've ever seen really in the console platform. But even after all that, I still feel like there is something missing with Halo Infinite to really give people something exciting to play for. Now, I'm not saying this game mode that I'm proposing within this video is going to be the save all things for Halo Infinite. It's not going to be the game mode that saves Halo because Halo is made up of so many smaller parts that make it into a complete package. Well, I'm going to ask you guys, could Halo do a raid? A raid experience would be something that would be completely different and new to Halo that we've never had before within the franchise. And it seems like these type of mechanics are something that people really enjoy as it requires much more teamwork while also at a casual pace. We just saw this happen with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 where they just introduced their first raid ever within the franchise. When I first heard this, I'm like, okay, how is Call of Duty going to be doing a raid? Is it going to be like Destiny? Are we talking WoW? Uh, or are we just talking like Spec Ops with like some rewards at the end? 
how's the whole thing gonna play out? And honestly, it's actually kind of a fun experience playing the raid in Call of Duty. The general mechanics of the like Call of Duty raid is that there's a team of three that you cannot match make in. There are different classes with assault, medic, and support. They all come with their own individual loadouts with different bits of equipment attached to them as well, which I think would totally be something that Halo could pull off, especially a developer made version of a raid could totally work where you could have each class have its own different type of loadouts when it comes to like starting weapons, secondaries, different bits of equipment, different types of grenades and things like that. Now, after playing through the raid of Modern Warfare 2, I gotta say it was a fun experience. It wasn't anything revolutionary, nothing really surprising when it came to mechanics that were in this, but I still found myself having a good time and it had some interesting teamwork mechanics that I think that Halo could easily pull off. It does seem like with the Call of Duty raid that the big thing is teamwork and different types of teamwork you can implement within the game mode. For example, within the Call of Duty raid, you have these different types of Russian letters that need to line up with different types of numbers that you input into a console, which then unlocks the next section. That's nothing too complicated, but it involves some teamwork, but they definitely evolve that mechanic within this raid. The next section is that you have one air canister to try to swim underwater through this flooded passage. And basically what you need to do is swim along with each other. And each person needs to go up to another to grab the air canister so they don't drown and be able to make their way through in the next safe space. And then the third section of the raid is where you're basically seeing the evolution of the mechanic that was introduced with the numbers and letters. But then this time you have to fight enemies while trying to provide numbers and letters to the people on the console. Then once it's all complete, you get a nice little cutscene, and then the raid ends. And then the reward for playing through the raid is that you get cosmetics. That's really about it. Nothing too crazy. This isn't like Destiny. This isn't like World of Warcraft where you're trying to level up your character or anything. It just gives you the ability to unlock unique bits of customization, which honestly can be enough to motivate people to do these different types of objectives. Which then reminds me, some of the stuff that people did in Halo to get some of the more unique bits of customization throughout Halo's franchise definitely shows that there is an interest and motivation to get people to do different types of tasks within Halo to earn some type of bit of customization to make yourself feel a little more distinguished amongst the crowd. So why not have some cool bit of customization as a reward when it comes to completing the quote unquote Halo raid, if you want to call it that, where you might get like some cool helmet or cool armor effect that you can only get within the raid. That would definitely get people excited to jump in and play. And then when it comes to the gameplay and mechanics of the raid, obviously you don't need to copy the air swimming mechanic or the different letters and numbers and stuff like that. But we've seen within Forge different types of scripting and things that you can pull off within just Forge alone. You can imagine what the devs are able to pull off when they have the entirety of the engine to themselves. We could see 343 really develop some really unique mechanics that involve some teamwork that are just not that have to be anything really new too mind blowing or anything too difficult. Just something that will give people something new experience to have within the game. I think that's the biggest issue that we're having with Halo Infinite at the moment. And there's one section that I think if Halo were to do a raid that they could easily do a lot better than Call of Duty did, and that's having a raid boss. Something that towards the end of the raid that causes a big climactic battle. We saw this multiple times over. It was almost the gameplay loop of Halo Infinite's campaign of play through the campaign, do some average tasks, kill some average enemies, and then you have like a boss at the end you need to take out, which ended up being a really fun mechanic and a really good gameplay loop, which Halo definitely has struggled with the whole boss mechanic when it comes to its gameplay. They tried it with Halo 2 and some some parts did all right, some parts not so much. Same thing with Halo 3. Definitely didn't do so great in Halo 5. Let's let's be real about that one. That was probably the worst. But in Halo Infinite, the boss fights felt like genuine boss fights that were fun to engage themselves in, and each one had their own bit of mechanics that you need to implement to succeed in those fights. But it lets me know that 343 gameplay designers can make some really cool things against bosses when it comes to Halo Infinite. So why not have that within a raid? It's kind of already there. Just need to mix up the sandbox a little bit and boom, you get yourself a pretty cool raid boss. And like I said, it doesn't have to be any grand crazy experience. This doesn't need to be the vault of glass within Halo. It just needs to be a unique experience that you can't have anywhere else that something that Forges might not be able to pull off with front facing tools and something that has a bit of a dev's touch to it. But let me know in the comment section down below, what kind of game mode or kind of experience would you like to see Halo try to pull out that it's never done before? You never know, it could spawn into a whole nother discussion video like we did right here. Now, if you wanna know more about the future of Halo when it comes to season three and season four information, check out this video right here. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.